The 2014 season brings with it significant changes to the F1 technical regulations. At the front of the car, the front wing has been narrowed by 150mm, with the front wing end plates likely to become more curved as a result. The height of the chassis drops by 100mm, whilst the maximum height of the nose is reduced dramatically to 185mm, both changes having been made for safety reasons. The change in chassis height has had a small effect on driving position, with the driver's legs now marginally lower in the car. Front overhang, meanwhile, remains at 1,200mm. Another change for 2014 is that the onboard cameras at the front of the car must be placed within a specified zone further back on the side of the nose. Looking at the side pods, the increased cooling requirements of the 2014 V6 turbo engines means that the side pod openings are larger than before. The side pods are also wider due to the increased size of the mandatory deformable crash structures within them. The side pod area which once housed the exhaust exits is now covered with bodywork, as the new power unit has a single exhaust outlet at the very rear of the car, so no more exhaust blowing. The power unit comprises a 1.6 litre engine, two energy recovery systems, a single battery housed in the fuel cell and a single turbocharger. Race fuel is limited to 100 kilos, while the exhaust exit must finish behind the rear axle line. From above, the differences between the 2013 and 2014 car are obvious. At the very back of the car, you can see how the single exhaust tailpipe exits centrally from the engine cover. Unlike in 2013, this year's cars do not feature beam wings, though vertical support pillars are allowed. Additionally, the main rear wing flap must now fit within a smaller area. The DRS opening, meanwhile, has been increased from 50 to 70 millimetres.